Okay, guys, we are just rolling with the punches with this hair. This looks horrendous, and I'm fully aware of that. But we aren't gonna pay attention to that because today we are gonna talk about skin and skincare. So a lot of you, um, and not just a lot of you, but a lot of people, especially on Instagram, they ask me that, what do I do to get a clear skin because it might look like I have a lot of makeup on but I hardly have makeup on. I just have some concealer under my eye, some blush and lipstick and maybe bronzer on the eye. That's it. I don't use, uh, do, though I like using a full mask of makeup whenever I want to but it's not a necessity for me. It's more of an artistic value and all of that. On a regular, I use a very sheer toned uh, foundation or just a concealer. Though I have discoloration and um, under eye uh, dark circles, but a lot of Indian or brown skin or people of color, they do have it and that's all right. We can deal with it and my uh, dark, eye, dark circles are genetic so they won't go away but what I can do is uh, take care of them and that's it and with our biggest organ till date so my skincare routine is very 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 simple all right it is so simple you're gonna see it i don't use anything fancy apart from maybe mm, multiple face washes that's it so Let's begin. Let's start with cleansing, toning, moisturizing and all that good stuff. Let's start with cleansing. I actually use three cleansers. This is sorry, this is a soap cleanser. Okay, this the Himalaya Purifying Neem Face Wash. I have used this for 12 years. Like this was my first face wash and I cannot live without this without this this is so inexpensive this is so nice and i can feel a difference in my skin when i don't use this like i get more acne if i don't use this and though uh, touch wood um i don't get a lot of acne because of uh, jeans but whenever i do get like a little bumps on my face this actually cures it i'm not too sure how but i think there's something in it that like fantastic inexpensive gel uh, face wash if you want to if you have a, a combination skin and you want and you have acne if you are looking for a good cleanser this is it and then this is a very new purchase but as you can see it's like <laughs> like almost gone this is the face shop all clear for smart cleansing all-in-one foaming cleanser uh, this is an all-in-one facial makeup cleanser okay that's a mouthful. So what I do is, um, after I come back from office, whatever makeup I do have, I take it off with coconut oil. It works best for my skin. I have used coconut oil to take off my makeup for years and years and years and I refuse to touch any other oil based cleanser. Coconut oil does it just fine for me. I use the Shalimar one. Then I go ahead with a dollop of this and I, and I really cleanse that oil and whatever gunk I have. Then I go with this and this really takes off whatever little makeup that um, uh, it's there left on my face and then I have this very clean canvas to go ahead with uh, the next steps and the next step being an exfoliate. exfoliator. Exfoliation is key for very soft supple smooth skin. There are two kind of exfoliants, a physical and a chemical. A chemical is mostly like a peel or uh, those kind and a physical is the kind of exfoliator that I'm going to show you right now which you can feel the grits on your palms uh, and this the one that I have used for years and years which is uh, also the Himalaya the Neem exfoliator and not this one but the apricot um, scrub and this is a set, uh, what I'm using right now is the scent Ives radiant skin pink lemon and uh, mandarin orange scrub this is a very very gentle physical exfoliant 
though a lot of dermats um, and people on YouTube they're like oh don't use physical exfoliate it's too harsh for your skin da 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 but for me it works fine and I'm not a dermat don't go by whatever I say go check your dermat if you have any queries but these are the things that work personally for me I have used the um, apricot scrub which is like very gritty which is also good as a body exfoliator but I used, used to use it like once or twice a week. This I use every two days. So yeah, this works really, really nicely. This actually makes my skin super soft, super smooth. And it doesn't react in any way, shape or form with my skin. Okay. Cleanser is done. And in like for night. And there's one more cleanser which is like kind of like disgusting looking but I'll still show it to you this is the Karma Ayurveda brightening soap which is basically a soap okay I won't show it to you for too long basically you get this entire block of soap I cut it in half and then I use it and this is it this I use in the morning because it actually really really brightens your skin though it makes your skin a little dry but I still I still like it okay this just the smell of it how it makes my skin feel in the morning it's really nice and after that I tone my face it's very important to tone your face after you cleanse it because it balances your pH there's so many toners out in the market you can choose any one I have the plum green tea revitalizing face mist so i'm almost done with it and i switch between this and normal gulabri or any um, rose water i feel rose water works so so nice on the skin it is such a natural uh, mist to toner to balance out your ph and yeah this is what i use this is very nice and i'll show you the mist it has a very fine mist so yeah a very very good toner with a very very good mist all right next comes the nighttime um, moisturizer now I religiously use oils I love oils for the skin for the body and the face I feel no amount of creams lotions to uh, essence does wonders for your skin as oils and maybe it can be just for me maybe it might not work for you i know a lot of people who do not like oils but for me personally i love oils and i cannot stress how oils have just mm, fixed my not fixed but helped my skin in so many shape or forms i usually switch between two oils one is the Kama Ayurveda. There's a lot of Kama Ayurveda product over here. It's not sponsored by the way. I just really like the brand. Uh, the Kama Ayurveda Nal Pamar Nal Tailam. It's a skin brightening treatment. I'm totally butchering the name. I'm so sorry. It is this oil which has a guess it has turmeric in it and it gives your skin a yellow tint okay it will also make your skin like it will stain your uh, clothes so don't use it any other time but at night this is a beautiful way a bottle of this i guess is like 1200 bucks i'm so sorry my dog hair is like all over the place but no it's 950 not 1200 it's 950 so there's this what it essentially does is i'll actually keep it on i just don't trust myself with oils yeah much better ha. so what it essentially does is it just brightens up your skin whatever little discoloration that you have if you use it consistently and religiously it will just balance it out okay it won't do something very revolutionary you have to religiously use it every night for a long period of time to see a lot of result but it does it does have its results and it's really nice and another oil that you guys have probably seen in my hand which i swear by okay i swear by this oil for my body for my face it is one of the best discoveries in my life which is the bio oil i got this is a very small bottle i usually get the 
200ml, one is a 150ml, one 200 I don't remember. I get the big bottle, basically. I use this all over my body and if I am not using that oil, if I, and if I have maybe, um, I went out in the sun and I got a sunburn, I don't get a lot of tan, I do get a lot of sunburn. So if I have that, this helps. If there's any spots, if there's any scarring and or stretch marks, this helps. You have to use it for a minimum of one month to see those spots disappear. But man, this is a magic potion in a bottle. This is not, at least it's not that oily. Because I have a combination dry skin, so it doesn't feel that oily on my skin. I can still wear it under makeup. That's how much I love it. This is everything. I will never, oopsie, I'll never stop repurchasing this. This, I need it in my life, okay? This does everything, everything. So let's talk a little about moisturizers because in the morning if I'm not if I my skin is not very very parched I go with a moisturizer and I use the simple sensitive skin expert replenishing rich moisturizer this I've actually bought it during um, the winter months I also have another one which is a light moisturizer for the summer months this is very nice it doesn't have any scent this is very light to the skin and it actually um, quenches your skin's thirst and it lasts for a long time like your skin will not feel dehydrated three hours later okay this will actually keep your skin hydrated at least it keeps my skin hydrated so yeah and it sits very nicely under makeup so yeah highly highly recommend this if you haven't already checked them out and very inexpensive very inexpensive okay let's talk about the most important thing that a lot of women and men um, forget about and which is SPF you honey you need SPF we all need SPF I don't care if you're inside the house if you're outside the house if you're just going outside for two minutes if you plan to stay outside for I don't know how many hours you need SPF and we cannot be friends if you don't use SPF you need to use SPF and what I use and this I've been using since I was in school so say 10 years 10 plus years is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock SPF 50 this is the best for my skin because other sunscreens just break me out I just don't like it this is the best this is as the name suggests a dry touch it is not sticky, it's not irritating to the skin, it doesn't have the classic SPF scent that I hate. I love it and I have probably finished 50 of these, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Now, let's talk about uh, face masks, those indulgent days. Okay, I have three. One is what I mean. There's a video up on my channel, if I find it, I'll put a card somewhere. This is something that I make every month, which is catered to how my skin is feeling that month. If you want to check it out, go to that video. And another one that I have, this was my first um, face mask, so this brings a lot of nostalgia to me, but I still, still buy it and use it because at times you just want to, I don't know. Um, is the Himalaya Purified Neem Face Pack fantastic fantastic inexpensive mask that works if you have a zit i also have the health and beauty aztec secret indian healing clay this actually is when you have a lot of breakout and you don't know what to do about it this really helps this is a very complicated mask not to use but you know you have to use it in a plastic bowl you can't use metal with it have to use a certain kind of water or um, uh, apple cider vinegar and then it just pulsates a lot it's a very painful mask but it really really helps acne so whenever uh, during periods when I have zit which will not go I use this and this works okay this is a fantastic mask and I also use sheet mask if I'm like going out if there's a special occasion 
I'm not feel hydrated and fancy. I don't use sheet mask every week because I think that's really wasteful for not only your pockets, also the environment because you can't reuse it. So yeah, and I also uh, DIY a lot of masks which I will talk about to maybe brighten your skin, fix your skin, maintain my skin's pH level. So there's a lot of um, no care as we call it that I uh, learned from my mom, my mom learned from her mom and so we all have those and I'm going to share some and uh, another thing that I do for my skin whenever I put a moisturizer or um, an oil is do gua sha this is a gua sha, this is a piece of jade and you basically whenever you have moisturizer or oil you massage your neck and but yeah that was my entire skincare routine if you like it um, give this video a thumbs up subscribe press that bell notification and tell me what your skincare routine looks like i would love to know i would love for you to give me advice on my skincare routine if there's something that you feel that i should incorporate maybe some product that you really like and you feel i can do a lot of use out of please please let me know i'm always open for suggestion and if you want to see uh, videos of such kind do let me know comment down below on what you want to see so yeah i will take your leave right now and i hope you are having a very very good day a very productive day a very happy day and i will see you guys tomorrow Bye. <laughs>